G'day No Man's Sky fans, Vaughnarama here again. Today I've got for you my latest base tour. This is a base I've just built for the Amino Interior Design Base Competition. The requirements being 25 cube prefabs for the exterior only, and then obviously go nuts with the interior. Uh, this is at the site of an old base my old Atlantis base which I deleted some time ago I came back here and I've rebuilt a smaller Atlantis there's a beautiful golden trident right there to welcome you as you fly in anyway let's uh, skip across the water and have a look you can see deep below the surface that's the base down there four golden landing pads for you to land on and this base is at the site of a crashed underwater freighter. Fantastic location. Hotel Atlantis, I've called this. That's the latest ship that I'm flying. You can take the short range teleporter down to the sea floor. Make sure you have a bit of a look around, because it's pretty nice here. It's very deep as well. The crashed freighter has actually carved out a big divot in the sea floor which has made it extra deep. This is also a paradise planet with blissful weather. So this is the base from the outside, Hotel Atlantis. Let's have a look inside. As you can see there, the centerpiece is some vacant glass cuboids with some um, coral growing through the middle I guess. The terranium there which I've added a bit of life to as you might see. Same with the aquarium, shouldn't look like that on the inside but I've added a few bits and bobs. Here's your first sit down area, a couple of drinks on the table there. This is what I'm talking about, that glowing coral coming through the sea floor there, a couple of uh, barnacles around the glass. Fireplace second time I've built a fireplace which actually has a vent on the outside to release the carbon dioxide of course a picture before you ask here is the bar my friend uh, I've gone with stools this time as chairs there's a little kitchenette area where you can prepare food and meals uh, check out that basin how I've done that very proud of that. First time I've attempted that here. Never seen it done before, so hopefully it's unique. Some hot plates at the kitchenette too. Uh, some fresh produce being prepared there. Lots of decoration all throughout this base. Statues, um, plants, glitches. It's a very pretty base. Got some oxygen pumping through just to keep the place ventilated. Here is the toilet and bathroom. Toilet seat there with a flush button on top. Small basins, a shower up there in the corner. Better look at the toilet. There we go. The main bedroom you can sleep between two and four people. One as well, I guess. But. Um, that shows you how deep it is from where the landing pads are on the surface. Some barnacles on the glass there. This I'm very proud of. This is the theatre room. As you can see on the TV screen there, I've got uh, what's called a clapperboard. It's just a signal that it's a TV screen, if it wasn't obvious enough. Made that out of decals, very proud of that, never seen it done before again. Uh, hopefully a nice unique touch for you as well. Okay, let's go back outside, that's the base. Um, obviously you could spend a bit longer here and take it all in. I was just giving you a quick run through. When you come here, or if you come here, make sure you have a look around. There's plenty to explore at the ocean floor. Lots of cool fish and jellyfish. I've put a Nautilin and a Minotaur 
summoning station there for you to explore the seafloor. This cave over here I'd recommend. It's quite a cool little cave. But yeah, I guess thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the base. Um, and uh, please visit. Hopefully I will see you soon.